Hi everyone. Today I have a lecture. This book, page 7. This uh, book, Catholic Church Catechism, has uh, uh, 10 chapters. So I will say the content. So you see, yeah, chapter 10. Chapter 1, chapter 1, Catholicism is founded on revelation. So, chapter 1 um, indicates what is the uh, revelation. Chapter 2, who is the church? I didn't say, uh, what is the church? So, uh, First Vatican Council says, the church is perfect society, but according to the Vatican Council second, who is the church? So chapter 2 will proclaim who is the church. So church is the people of God, say. And chapter 3, the church lives in communion. Chapter 4, the Holy Spirit working inside my soul. Chapter 5, God's Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. God's Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Chapter 6, the history of Jesus, the Christ of Kenosis. Kenosis emptying, uh, surrendering, something like that. Chapter 7, Christ of Faith, especially the cross and the Christ of Resurrection. Chapter 8, Human Beings, the Origin of Sin. So, I say Theological Anthropology. And then Chapter 9, What is Grace and Justification? Or, Rightness, rightness. So, theology of anthropology. Chapter 10, the life of Catholic Christian. So, we have a uh, uh, contents has a uh, 10 chapters. So, let me start today. Um, page 8, page 8, chapter 1. Catholicism is founded on a revelation. So, uh, look at this picture that I took together with the Mongolian young people, mothers and fathers and young people. So, you may understand, this is uh, uh, the photo and the videos mentioned in each chapter can be viewed through YouTube. So, uh, you can search, you can search um, Catholic Church Catechism, but the version in Korean. So already, I unloaded already, uh, almost two years ago. So you can see uh, after lecture, so um, in YouTube, you, you, you can see the photos and videos mentioned in each chapter. So. Once a year, I visit the fathers who are on a mission in Mongolia. So, long time ago. So, when I was uh, in uh, seminary school, Daejeon Catholic University of our diocese. So, every single year, I went to just I visit, visit uh, Mongolia to see, to have experience uh, with missionaries who are uh, as a priest, as a nun, as an evangelist. So once a week at the time, I visited the father who are on a mission in Mongolia. So this family is one of the new Catholics on that's a video, that's a photo mentioned in the chapter in YouTube. Despite living through hardship, the young couple and their bright children had a strong 
unwavering faith, which was such a heartwarming sight. It's amazing to see how in harmony we can meet God. So this next picture is of a sister sitting on a chair and facing the endless ocean. It shows how the sisters aspire to cultivate a mind that is deep and open like the ocean. This too is another sight of all of the sisters in the covenant. Not, not covenant, convent. In, con in the convent who can collectively overlook the ocean and together meet God. The next image is of the Kotongne, Kotongne, South Korea's largest social welfare organization, monastery of Korea. So Kotongne sisters who was on a mission in Haiti, talking to a homeless, abandoned person. The father and sister of the Kotongne were working on the street when they met the person by chance. The monk father of the Kotongne, who was one of my students when I was the president at Dejan Catholic University, was on a mission in Haiti. The picture on the right shows that in one of the many huge buildings in the city. Two people met by chance at the bar and had some drinks together. This is a representation of our society today. In this rich environment, our hearts are poor and filled with loneliness. This is a picture that was taken with a sister who I met 25 years ago when I was a Paris priest. I wanted to see her, so I went to took this picture with her. The image in the middle is of the well-known Cardinal Kim so hwan The picture on the right is of a flower bed in front of missionary fathers about in Mongolia. All of these pictures I have shown you illustrates how by setting aside differences we can all meet God. It may seem that many people for whatever reason find the way to church on their own but it is God who calls and leads them to church. So the Haitian homeless man can only be called by God to come to the church as a homeless person? The answer is no. The truth is that in reality, everyone has their unique value as they experience and overcome different hardship in their lives. While we go to church for whatever reason, for example, because you saw someone you know or were influenced by someone going to church. Ultimately, it is God who called us to come to church. This is called vocation. Is God calling us? So today is um, finished this time. So God bless you. See you next time. In the name of Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 어떻습니까? 아, 지금 제가 영어로 했는데 이 부분은 여러분들이 에, 카드릭 교회 교리서 유튜브 제 카드릭 책방 에, 재생 목록에 들어가시면 거기에 20번의 유튜브 업로드 된 것을 만날 수 있는데 그첫 번째 장, 첫 번째 장 한국말로 이게 이 교재인데요. 이첫 번째 장에
나와 있는 일부를 지금 첫째 장 챕터 1을 했습니다. 가톨릭은 개시종교입니다. 그래서 그리고 여기 나와 있는 모든 제가 말씀드렸던 그림이나 또 사진들은 이 책은 없고요. 유튜브에 다 있다는 말씀 이미 드렸죠. 같이 병행해서 보시면 훨씬 더 도움이 되겠습니다. 감사합니다. 또 뵙겠습니다.